Abraham Lincoln was nearly murdered the night before he first set foot in New Orleans. In this episode of Geographer Space, we'll be looking at exactly what happened that night and where, uh, but before we do that, let's take a broader step and understand the circumstances for Abraham Lincoln's visit to Louisiana. In the spring of 1828, Abraham Lincoln and Alan Gentry of Rockport, Indiana, started building a flatboat to bring cargo, probably hominy horn and smoked pork, down to New Orleans. By my best estimates, they probably departed Rockport, Indiana in the third week of April of 1828, spent a few days coming down the Ohio River into the Mississippi, and in early May, entered the river as it borders Louisiana and Mississippi. He makes his way past Baton Rouge, and at that point, Alan Gentry and Abraham Lincoln describe that they lingered along the Louisiana Sugar Coast. That's how they refer to what we call the River Road region. Why Sugar Coast? Coast was a term used to mean the lower banks of the Mississippi. Sugar cane grew in plantations here, and by lingering, what they meant was going from landing to landing in front of these plantations, bartering and trading and making their way to New Orleans. By my best estimates, on the night of May 12th or May 13th, 1828, Lincoln and Gentry tied up for the night someplace in lower Louisiana between Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Why did they tie up for the night? Because it was so risky to float at night. So they cabled up, they anchored, and they would sleep on board. And that's when the attack occurred. There's a number of descriptions of what happened that night, some of them written either directly or indirectly by Lincoln himself. He describes seven men, they were African Americans, uh, with an intent to kill and rob them. And he and Gentry were, quote, hurt some in the melee, but succeeded in driving them off from the boat, and then cut cable and weighed anchor and left. By another description, a physical fight broke out, and Lincoln was clubbed, uh, probably in his right temple, leaving a scar that many said was visible until his last days. So I think it's safe to say that having been clubbed by his temple, that he could have been killed that night. The next morning, as soon as dawn broke, uh, they probably cut anchor once again and got out of there as soon as it was safe enough to do so. And then later that day, in mid-May of 1828, Lincoln and Gentry landed at the flatboat wharves of New Orleans. So the question becomes, where exactly was this attack site? Uh, and so what I've done is read every account that was recorded of interviews done in the 1860s of clues that Lincoln left. Uh, and we have an understanding that it happened downriver from Wade Hampton's plantation, which is today's Homer's house, at or near a plantation that was associated with a woman that was named Bouchane or Bouchan or Duchesne or Duquesne. Uh, these names were written down very phonetically, uh, and if you scour the plantation records, that name does not come up, but in fact, there was a woman named Duquesne or Duchesne in this area. French-born Rose Philippine Duquesne, who in 1825 founded the Convent of the Sacred Heart, St. Michael's, in present-day convent, located 12 miles below the Hampton Plantation. Lincoln and Gentry had probably heard the name of this woman associated with this area. Everyone knew Wade Hampton's plantation. So by my best estimate, the most likely site of the place where Lincoln almost lost his life just before landing in New Orleans was in front of, of all places, a convent founded by a woman who would later become beatified by the Catholic Church. After landing at the flatboat wharf in New Orleans, Lincoln and Gentry probably spent a couple of weeks in the city, as many flatboatmen did, and again in 1831 when Lincoln came for his second trip. These two visits to New Orleans, I would argue, were very influential in his later development. He had seen slavery before having been born in Kentucky, but his trips to New Orleans would have been the first time that he saw full-scale plantation slavery and, most importantly, slave trading in the streets of New Orleans.